these beautiful wild flowers from Sweat Your Press class on Sunday remind me of us in our dance, the way we, we show up and the way we meet ourselves. And this poem by Rilke has stayed with me. And what he says is this. What is necessary after all is only this, solitude, vast inner solitude, to walk inside yourself and meet no one for hours. That is what you must be able to attain, to be solitary as you were when you were a child, the silence of ecstasy, the spaciousness. Yet, that spaciousness, that inner peace. How do we get there? And how do we become and befriend all of this that we meet along this return to ourselves? And what I heard on Sunday regarding chaos and disappointment of the chaos when we judge, oh, I didn't have such a great time in chaos or that expectation that we all have at times. And I have to remind myself that chaos is the rhythm of letting go. It is the realm of the mind. It is the element of water. And if we look at the nature, the water, the element of water, from the little tiny drops to the crushing waves of the ocean, all of that are the parts of the water. So then how do we approach ourselves with this curiosity in chaos? How do we trust when we are maybe very low energy and all that is needed in that moment is just a, a tiny little shake? Or if we have a lot of energy and we feel really, really um, grounded and, and expansive, then how we can let that rapture, that energetics move through us? But the question is, how do we practice widening our consciousness and awareness to allow each tone and layer of ourselves to be so we don't give ourselves hard time. I feel what Rilke says on this journey to walk inside ourselves and meet no one for hours, but what we then have opportunity is to meet each and every part of ourselves. Maybe we meet our tiredness that we haven't given time this week to meet in ourselves. So how do we tend to that? How do we trust the intelligence of the body? Maybe we meet a memory that was so heartbreaking, but we haven't had time to process it. How do we tend to our heart? Maybe we meet a situation that somebody really angered us and we, we just held it in the body. So everything, everything is held in our body that needs greeting and meeting and feeling and allowing those feelings to move through us. So that is how we authentically can let go. So let's say we haven't had that grounded meeting of ourselves in flow. Then when we come in chaos, we are a little bit already ungrounded. We can't authentically let go if we have not authentically met what we are, if we skip over ourselves. And this is why I really encourage, especially in Sweat Your Prayers class, people to give that attention, meditation back to themselves, not to look outward, you know, to kind of get so involved with somebody else because you can't possibly give the deep attention to yourself if you are extending to another. 